On Sunday, June 2nd, 2019, while I was up in Vancouver, BC for work, I went out to dinner with my friend Hubert at this place called Hawksworth. I was pretty excited to try out Chef David Hawksworth's trademark spot situated inside the Rosewood Hotel, Georgia. I personally feel that the Pacific Northwest could use a few more fine dining heavy hitters. We enjoyed our first drinks at the table in the super sleek and modern dining room, a shaken matcha sour for Hubert, and a glass of BC Pinot Gris for me. The concept of this menu is structured geographically, moving around different regions of Western Canada to showcase products grown nearby. A refreshing first dish of Dungeness crab with hibiscus and elderflower. It wasn't exactly warm in Vancouver that day, so starting with something frozen wasn't great, but I work with Dungeness Crab all the time down in Seattle, and I really enjoyed the flavors from this presentation. Not too much to overpower the shellfish. Next up, a dish from the forest, a few different kinds of mushrooms here, dollop of seasoned creme fraiche, hugged by a tender ramp, watercress leaves on top to garnish. If you're able to make the right proportion bite on your fork, this was really tasty. The work was well worth it. Next up to pair, a taste of McIntyre Astra from 2016. Awesome crisp and clean Chardonnay with some barrel fermentation that made it way more interesting than some Something that just hangs out in stainless steel. Whoa, whoa, sorry for the shaky camera footage here. I was not expecting this kind of presentation. This is the halibut course, really elegantly presented in two servings. On the top level, a chip of the skin dotted with black garlic and a little bit of herb and flower garnish. Underneath is a smoked filet that's been wrapped in seaweed, garnished with sea lettuce and sea asparagus, and they're pouring over a yuzu dashi right now. Absolutely zero complaints on this. Really refined showcase of awesome ocean product and stellar technique in cooking the fish. Bread service came next. Three kinds of bread with cultured butter and olive oil. Hydration on this bread in particular was great, but I fear that something went funky in the baking process. There's a strange separation between the crust here. A glass of blended red grapes from the Okanagan Valley that the restaurant actually helps produce came next. I really enjoyed this. Next up, a wonderful dish for spring, suckling pig served with radish, carrot, and mead. The skin was artfully rendered here, and even though the garnish was sweet, there was enough fat and acid to make sure that sweetness wasn't too overpowering. A pretty classic combo here of spring lamb with peas, morel, and mint, but presented with a bit of a twist. Obviously, your saddle cut in the bowl that's garnished on its own, but off to the side, a glazed rib from the lamb topped with herbs to eat with our hands. Oh, and I almost forgot. My favorite way to be presented with a towel for my hands. Don't eat that. Next up to transition us, a wild blueberry granita with lemon balm. Pretty much spot on to what you'd expect looking at a dish like this. Not mind blowing, but the execution was solid. I remember this being Hubert's favorite dish of the whole meal. It's a rhubarb dessert with strawberry and bay leaf ice cream. I thought it was an awesome way to marry that classic spring combo with a deeper flavor from the ice cream. And the textures were great too. Chocolate box came next from left to right. This is a dark chocolate truffle, a red fruit one that I'm blanking on. I'm sorry I forget, and a praline miniardy. All really solid ways to finish because I love finishing with chocolate on a tasting menu. We were able to get a tour of the wine cellar and the kitchen, which was awesome. I'm sorry there's no footage, but I'm telling you that because if you come eat here, I highly recommend you ask for that behind the scenes. The service was really awesome after we got to talking to the front of house team and asking some really thoughtful questions. The kicker for me though, and I'm sorry I don't have footage of the check here, the total came to just $145.92 with tax and tip and wine in addition to the tasting menu. That's in US dollars. If you're in the Vancouver area for the product you're getting and the techniques you get to experience, this place is a steal. I can't recommend Hawksworth enough. If you like going out to eat experience videos like this, consider subscribing if you haven't yet already and get some color on that like button because it really helps me continue to make these for you folks. Justin Connor here, always thanking you so much for your attention and I hope you have a good one.